Ho, 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 ho. Welcome to the Broncast, a podcast all about the Ford Bronco. Today is a very special Christmas edition. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Christmas presents and hearing a sweet Christmas story and just enjoying Christmas. <laughs> Donnie, Merry Christmas, my friend. Yeah, you too. It's, uh, I mean, we're almost there. Close. Getting close. Special Christmas episode here on the uh, the Broncast. But, but uh, let's jump into this. You ready? Yeah, yeah. I got you a present. Ah, oh, I got you one too. <laughs> I feel silly with my uh, my hat on here. It's, it's I, We're wearing Santa hats if you're listening to this. On iTunes. Um, I turn the heater off to be cold in here. Yeah. So it feels like Christmas. It's all frigid. <laughs> yeah. Got my flannel on. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Well, uh, uh, here is your present, sir. Oh, look at that. It's huge. You got to tell people who are listening what, what okay. you're... Okay. Uh, I don't know how you're going to open that. Yeah, right me there. either. Hang on. I'm trying not to knock everything over. All right. Here we go. All right. From behind his back. So he's opening it's a large cardboard box that I didn't wrap. Um, that's like 20 inches by 40 inches. Cardboard. He just pulled cardboard out. More cardboard. And he's pulling out. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's really cool. It that's is, going in here. It's a, what is it called? Displace? Dis displate and uh it's a off-road um kind of addition there it's a it's a bronco like kind of a blueprint of a bronco on a metal metal plate yeah it's like a metal sign like yeah. a, a garage sign this is super cool thank you man yeah dude yeah i've seen them and i'm like oh that's super cool be a good good shop addition oh here let too. me give you uh the gift i got you oh man um so it's right here all right there you go all right and i don't know if you can see but it's got bronco wrapping paper that's pretty amazing yeah so that's from leslie mitchell art and um she has these framed broncos and micro buses and all kinds of cool things and uh yeah here you go <laughs> you gotta open that up So I went to lesliemitchellart.com, and uh, I really wanted to buy a frame picture, but instead, I got you that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait, is it? Yes. It's a Bronco <laughs> 2. <laughs> the Bass Chaser. <laughs> wait, wait. What's in the back of the truck? No, in the back. Oh. The hatch. Ooh. But little. there's something there. Oh, it's a membership card. <laughs> <laughs> What's it say? This is the 1990 Ranger Bronco 2 Club. Honorary Melton, John Smeltone. <laughs> they spelled your name wrong. That's really nice of them. <laughs> oh, I love it. I wish it was a badge that I could wear. I am an honorary member of the Bronco 2 Club now, ladies and gentlemen. So that means I need a Bronco 2. This thing's awesome, though. Yeah, and then you got what did it come with the here we go. A little little trailer package here. Yeah, look Toe at that. package. <laughs> well, there there was no boat, so <laughs> I got you a banana for a boat. It's a banana boat. It's a banana boat. Yeah. It's perfect. I couldn't find any that had boats. <laughs> So there's, there's your boat. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. That banana might be over capacity uh, yeah. for the towing of that vehicle. Well, right, every rating. Bronco, uh, if you add a banana to any Bronco, it goes over towing capacity. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. We, you know, we have our producer and people have asked about the good looking man in the background with a mustache and they're not talking about me, surprisingly, and they're not talking about you. They're talking about... Mr. Josh Toller, our, our producer in the background. Josh, I'm going to need you to come right here, and you're, you're going to have to squat because the camera can't see you if you stand. You'll be too big. 
Look at him. He see he has headphones on too because he has to listen and make sure that we sound as beautiful as we do. Oh, he's taking his headphones off. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. So that, that's from me. So most most people don't know that Josh is a professional trumpet player. Oh yeah. So the pros. Yeah, we're talking to a pro, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you've ever met a professional trumpet player. Yeah. Now you have. <laughs> So, that, so that's you need to open that one. That one's for you from me. Again, in the beautiful Leslie Mitchell Arts wrapping paper. <laughs> so you, you, you probably don't know what that is, but it's it's actually a trumpet stand for the bathroom. Oh. So you can practice in the bathroom like people do with their guitars. Nice. And I thought... Pick it up, play it, and then put it down. Yeah, that's right. It's holder. And then that's, that's, here's another... It's a, here's another it's a bull brush you. caddy. I like yeah. you twice as much as John, so oh. you got two gifts. I, I got you the gift. <laughs> Matching. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. They told me it was the last one. The Bass Chaser. Yeah. And then this is funny. So um, he got a boat. <laughs> I am okay, well, wait a minute. He he fishes. <laughs> <laughs> and I Some jerk bananas. bought the one with the boat, and you didn't get one. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you, Donnie. Um, we have one more present for you, Josh. In the Christmas spirit, my wrapping is is an Amazon box with tape on it. I don't know how you're going to open that. You got to rip, just rip it open. Ah. There you go, Christmas yes. morning. Get after it. Oh, wow. And it is oh. his very own <laughs> Broncast trophy. Wow. That says the world's best podcast producer, Josh Toller. Wow. It's yeah. That's a I'm my kids saw this and thought, <laughs> how did you get a gold trophy for your podcast? <laughs> it's very convincing from a distance. Yeah, maybe the world's best the world's best broadcast <laughs> producer. One and only. Eighty <laughs> percent of the time works every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good times. Thank you for uh, witnessing our our uh, Christmas gift exchange at the broadcast. Um, well, moving along, we thought it would be fun to get um. Get a friend on the phone uh, and tell a little story, a little Christmas story for you guys. Um, we're going to give uh, Mr. Anthony Parigi a call, uh, who has a, a fun little Christmas story for us. Well, uh, Anthony, are you there? I am here. Yes, sir. How's it going over there in Nashville, Tennessee? It's going pretty good. Hey, uh, before we get into this, um, Anthony just bought a, what was it, a 95? It was a 93 model. 1993 model. Yes, sir. Yeah, he yes, just got sir. that. Yeah, picked it up Saturday. Ah, oh, man. That thing is beautiful. Good job. Uh, we won't, Thank we won't, you so much. <laughs> we won't spend our time talking about that. We'll save that for the... Uh, for the fifth generation podcast episode, but uh, Anthony, so we're we're in the Christmas spirit here, Christmas season, and I wanted you to talk a little bit about uh, your story with your Bronco with your family. I just thought it was such a cool uh, Christmas story. Um, tell us a little bit about the the Bronco that your dad had when you were growing up. Oh man, so uh, as I mean, as you can attest, like at every gas station, at every super celebration, how many people do you talk to that say, man, my dad, my grandpa, and, yeah. you know, in reference yeah. to their Broncos story. And we all have a story that goes back to that, it seems. And so mine is uh, probably no different than anybody else's out there. But, uh, man, I got the opportunity. So glad my dad held on to his Bronco for so many years. Uh, so that was the Bronco. My dad had a 1976 Ford Bronco. He got it in 1977. And uh, he bought it from his best friend. Uh, and anyways, there was a, something went on there. He ended up getting the Bronco. So he's the second owner. Uh uh, he, so that's the only vehicle I've ever really known him to have. I was born in 83. 
And so that's the only vehicle that I've ever known him to have. That's the vehicle he took me hunting in. That's the vehicle he took me to school in. That's the, uh, you know, the, the vehicle that I learned to drive in. He used to take me to the, you know, the back roads and say, all right, jump in. And uh, that's where I got to learn how to drive a, a three on a tree. That and is so amazing. I always thought it was, yeah, I always thought it was so cool, man. We have so many memories in that thing from hunting and about rolling it over and everything, <laughs> man. It's just, it's just crazy, man. And uh, anyway, so uh, I was turning 16 and told my dad, you know, that's the vehicle I want. You know, all the other kids in school had newer vehicles. I wanted the one that I had to change the alternator on or the, uh, the the fuel pump or something every other weekend. Wow. And so, <laughs> what year was but, that? What year was that? You were 16, so that's... I, so I got my license in, what was that, Uh I, I got it. Ninety-seven, uh, ninety-nine. Okay, I think it was ninety-nine. I got my license. So, uh, so it would have been March of ninety-nine that I got my license. Yeah. Okay. So Jeeps were super popular, but you wanted something a little bit different, a little bit more unique. Absolutely, something unique, and uh, and man, I just thought that thing could go anywhere or do anything. Uh, uh and yeah, I absolutely wanted it. it was different, and uh, it did back. Then and that was for, before it was like the, the the cool hip thing, man. Yeah. And I've just always been a Bronco guy. Yeah. So what ended up happening to that Bronco? So I drove it through high school, and uh, anyways, when I went to college, uh, I had another vehicle by that time. I had a uh, Ford Ranger, and okay. so it was you know newer, more reliable. So my brother took the Bronco out with his buddies one night and blew the engine in it. Oh. And, uh, yeah. and so that that uh bronco that was in 2003 wow. that bronco sat in my parents backyard until uh from 2003 until 2015 now wow. during that time about 2012 my parents moved to texas okay so they're not there and my dad has always said one fine day one fine day i'm going to fix that up he's one of those that thing would have sat there 100 years <laughs> and i my dad knows I'm a vehicle guy, and uh, I told him, I said, Dad, you know if that was mine, I'd already have it stored. Yeah, son, but, uh, you know, one day I'm going to do it, and I want to, you know. <laughs> and so, anyways, a few months later, my dad calls me up and says, Son, that Bronco's yours. Whoa. And I'm awesome, yeah. So, I went immediately, <laughs> put that thing on the trailer, and took it to the uh, restoration. Wow. And I told my dad, I said, man, I said, here in about a couple of years, maybe next year, I'll go ahead and get started. No, I told them, I gave them 9000 up front. I said, go ahead and get started on it. Frame off. You know, start pulling, start pulling it apart. Wow. I want everything sandblasted and redone. So anyway, uh, you know, what was so cool about it is the guy that has the restoration shop, I would talk to him. So he, he knows the story of the Bronco. So he has some you know, some memorable moments in it as well. And uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, he let me in with them, and he, he taught me things on, you know, on restoration and let me have a hand in it. So we spent all of 2015 restoring that Bronco. My dad had no clue. Wow. So at Christmas, I paid a, a, a guy to put a DVD together of all the pictures. I took pictures of the whole process. And at Christmas, I had the whole family. I went to Texas. I had the whole family there at my mom and dad's house. I said, Dad, this will be the, I, said, I had everybody sit down in the living room. I said, Dad, this is uh, the best Christmas present that uh, I think I can ever give you. I don't think I can ever top this one. And uh, so I'm going to pop in this DVD here. And it was from the day that I went into the shop to work. It was supposed to be finished at that time. Oh. But it didn't. It, it was, uh, it didn't quite make it. It was about, as, as, of course, as you know, unplanned events. It was right. about three months behind. But where it was at in the process, it was, it was pretty far along. The, the body was painted and set on the frame. It just, we had a, we had to go ahead and put the seats on it at the top. You know, it was, it was pretty far along, but it wasn't done yet. But, uh, anyways, I had a, I had the, the photos, uh, on that DVD going all, all the way up, uh, to the moment of, of Christmas. And uh, anyway, so I popped that DVD in, man. We both sat there cried like babies. 
<laughs> he didn't even register to him that I was giving it to him, though. Oh. He thought, oh. after we watched the DVD, he said, uh, son, you have a nice Bronco. I said, dad, you have a nice Bronco. Wow. That Bronco is yours. As soon as it's finished, it'll be in your driveway. And so uh, I think it was late February, early March, uh, I, uh, I I took it down to him in Texas. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was, man. It's one one of the most special moments I've had. It was it was yeah. really cool, man. That's super. That, I, you've told me that story before, and I I just think that's such a cool story that you know you would do that for your dad, and you know just the the memories that you've had, and and all that, and it is a beautiful build. Um, Thank. And did did Thanks. you put that video online? Is that on YouTube? I did. If you look, it's on YouTube. If you look up, I, I believe it's uh, early Bronco Christmas present. Well, I'll link it's it. A, I'll link it on, on YouTube and, uh, if you're listening on, uh, on iTunes, definitely, uh, check that video out. And, uh, that's super, super cool. Anthony. I, I greatly appreciate it, man. And you know, one thing about it, like, like I touched on at the beginning, uh, you know, how many people have you seen online looking for their dad's Bronco, their grandpa's Bronco, their uncle's Bronco, man. I'm just so fortunate that my dad held on to that all these years. And I actually have an old picture of them. Uh, they were going to sell it I'm, before I was even born. It has a for sale sign on it. It's got the family standing out in front of it. And my brother, my older brother, is just a little baby. And uh, I'm so glad that they didn't sell it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. one of the lucky ones. That's super cool. That's super cool. Well, Anthony, thank you so much for sharing our, your story with us. Man, have a very Merry Christmas and your new <laughs> 93 XLT. Yeah, I'm going to watch the sir. video well, tonight. I, I, well, awesome. Yeah, please do it. And hey, guys, Merry Christmas. And I really appreciate y'all having me on. Merry Christmas, Anthony. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Man, so cool. Like, what a, what a cool story. I, I, like, I just put myself in, you know, the dad's shoes. Uh, his name's John as well. John Perigi and I'm like, man, that would be I I would I would be so moved if if uh, Clark did that for me, you know, and when, when I'm an old man. Um, but yeah, we'll park your Bronco good. in the backyard for yeah. twelve years. <laughs> I will. Yeah, it'd be it'd be amazing. But well, a little Christmas cheer for you guys. Christmas uplifting Christmas story there uh, for you guys. But Donnie, we know. I mean, we all know what Christmas is all about. It's about presents, parts. <laughs> it's about it's Bronco about Bronco parts. parts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I wanted to spend a little bit of time. We've had Tom's Off Road as our sponsor for this podcast, and uh, wanted to spend a little bit of time just talking about what our Bronco parts on our Christmas list are, and uh, what are we getting for Christmas. Yeah, I've, uh, my list is actually already in the cart. Oh, so, wow. I mean, you could just, you know, put your Bye. charge card number in there for me. <laughs> um, what, do, what do you got on? What's what's number one or not the number one thing? But what's the Are first we alternating thing? or do you want me just yeah. to, to go through mine? I'll go, then you, we can alternate. Okay, yeah. I, I went heavy. Oh. Yeah, because, you know, we're getting ready to, to finish a Bronco that we're going to sell. So we, we specifically, we know where it's going to be an automatic. I, I don't want to rebuild the transfer case oh, yeah. or the rear axle. So I sort of picked up like my drive line. Oh, nice. And I was really surprised while I was on Tom's website looking, you can get a good used C4 from them. Yeah. At a really great price. I mean, prices change, but it today it was fourteen ninety five, and it came with a whole list of parts to switch your truck from a manual to an automatic. Man. And, and I just thought, man, that's a terrific deal because I don't have to figure all that out, you yeah. know. But, um, yeah, and if I need to get it rebuilt, you know, I, we have transmission shops around here. And um, yeah. they usually give warranties and all that. But just to be able to get all the nuts and bolts and the right flywheel and everything that you need for that transmission, that was uh, a surprise that they had that on there. Yeah, yeah. How about that's you? That's cool. What's- uh, first on my list is the Premium Walnut early Bronco seats, man, these things we've talked about them before. 
Uh, Tom's just came out with them, and they are beautiful. And we don't need to talk about them anymore, but it's just the whole kit, and I just I've I've seen them at the uh, showroom at Tom's, and it's like that's a beautiful a beautiful seat, and it's like fifteen hundred bucks, and uh, you know it comes with two front seats and a back seat, and it's like wow, looks incredible. So. Oh, that's cool. I have seen they have like two browns. And yeah. Yeah. Walnut and there's another one. Instead of black. Everybody has black. Yeah. So right. Yeah. yeah. It looks like leather. That's what I like. <laughs> yeah. All right. The, number two. Oh, so work my way back from the transmission. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I want a transfer case. So it's like, do I do I spend <laughs> two to three thousand dollars on an atlas? And then I was looking on Tom's site and guess what? They've got rebuilt. Dana 20s for like nine ninety five. Yeah. It's like, that's a no-brainer. Right. You just, you don't even have to clean it. Right. You know, those are completely rebuilt. And I thought that that's a terrific deal. So that was, yeah. I just started, I, I don't know that I left the whole drivetrain area. <laughs> I just like started clicking on stuff. It's that's like, well, genius. now I don't, this yeah. is the easy button. Just. And right now people are li- listening to you going, oh yeah, you'll never buy that because of shipping with the Tom stuff, you can literally have it where you can pick it up at like super celebration or like, so you get to go to an event. So you buy your parts at Christmas and, you know, spend all your Christmas money on Bronco parts. Then you get to go to a Bronco event, like super celebration in Tennessee, and you get to go pick up all your parts. Now I get it. It's a couple months later, but if you're saving a thousand dollars in shipping if you're buying a C4 and a Dana 20. You know, it's like that's a great, great deal um, to to save. So before you give us some hate on uh, on shipping costs, remember that's always an option. Lots of guys do it too. Yeah. I had a guy that just brought a roll cage. He picked up at a super cell and yeah. then he just showed up with it. You know, months later, but he saved himself the shipping. Yeah, huge, so. huge. My number two is the AMP research steps. I, I know these have been around for a while, but I think they're super cool. And it's just that like baller feature where like <laughs> you open the door of an early Bronco and it's like, bzz, you know, yeah. the step comes down. Uh, so that, that's my number two. I, I've always wanted a set of those. So. Yeah. And, the, you know, I'm short, so I have to have them. Something. Yep. <laughs> um, my, my next item is actually... Tom's now has a complete rear axle with disc brake conversion already done. And it's a bargain. I mean, maybe some people don't think it is. It's already painted. The disc brakes are on it. It's literally just take your old one out, put the new one in, and then finish your brake disc conversion. So clearly <laughs> yeah. you didn't want disc brakes on the front. But yeah, um, yeah it's, it was like $3,800, $3,885. Brake wow. lines and everything. I mean... It was a whole rear axle. It's cool too because they have like a their own diff cover that says uh, Tom's Bronco Parts TBP. Maybe Tom's they're off road. Not, maybe the new covers say something yeah. different, but yeah. yeah, the picture I was looking at. That's super cool. But yeah, I'm that. That's a no brainer. Hit yeah. the easy button. It's like you know, just have it sent. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're gonna do that on your own, I mean, I'm doing that right now on the Bronco restoration. I should look at how much I've spent specifically just in parts for that you know, for the Dana 44 or for the, mm-hmm. cause even like re-gearing it, I know it comes with different gears as well. So if you're going to have to re-gear your axle anyway, if you're going to have to powder coat it anyway, like that is a, that's an easy button. I mean, you did a rebuild on your YouTube channel yeah. and I'm sure you spent that much right. on your rear rebuild. The right. fronts are way more expensive to build, but yeah, for me, it's just like easy button. That is easy. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, I have, so roof insulation and the headliner i don't know so i've never i've seen a couple broncos with the headliner um i mean it's like this cheap kind of cardboard type stuff it's parchment color um but i really want to install it um the insulation in the headliner to just see like what it's like i so on my bronco right now when you're driving down the road every once in a while a gust of wind will come and hit the he- the uh heart the hard my hard top my uh shell and it will bah, like just pop super loud and there's something you know i have something wrong with the braces do you see the metal come down and then go back up? yeah like it like (laughs) pops you know like a 
you know, but it's like <laughs> so loud it sounds more like, of a bang. Yeah, like a mortar fire going off in the Bronco. <laughs> And uh, so that's one that I would like to try roof insulation. And it's colder now, and it would be nice to just see if it that helps with the heat and, and stuff like that. It'll probably still do the thing. Yeah, but probably. <laughs> It'll be quieter. Yeah. You can put insulation up there, like noise deadening insulation, and that might stop that. Yeah, that's true. That's so yeah. I actually have an item on my list that, that I don't know who sells it. It could be a Bronco Nation item for all I know, but they're Bronco tennis shoes. Have you seen them? No. Oh yeah. They, yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> I'm <laughs> totally amazing. serious. I mean, I, I probably look like a nine year old wearing them because they got a Bronco on the side, but they're so cool. And, uh, it's size eight in black. Did you, did you write that down? Size. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make a note of that. I already oh, okay, gave you thanks. a Christmas present. Well, um, my last one is, uh, also available at Tom's off road. Mr. Todd Zercher's book, Zerker, Zercher, The Four History of Ford's Legendary 4x4 Ford Bronco. A lot of Fs in there. Good, good read. We've been talking about it this whole first season of the pod podcast, and huge shout out to Todd. So uh Todd has a website. We'll put it in the link, put a link in it below. Um we'll also put a link to all the parts. Um so that if you're interested in any of them, just checking them out. We'll put a put a link to those in the uh, notes below in the description below. Um, but uh, but before we go uh, and wrap up our Christmas episode, I want to do a little Bronco gift ideas that aren't parts out out jumping out of our parts corner. Just some Bronco gift ideas because I'm you know like. Even with my family, they're always like, what do you want? You know, like any Bronco stuff. And I'm like, you know, yeah, Dana 20, but it's two grand or, you know, whatever it is. Like even on the all the parts other than Todd's book, it's like all the parts on my list are like $500. My family doesn't love me that much um, to spend that. So I thought some cheap, cheaper gift ideas. You ready for these? Yeah. We have already got the Bronco Bass Chaser, so that's true. What else you don't do need you that need? Now. Yeah, <laughs> I can mark that one off. And and the banana boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um subscription to Bronco Driver. Uh yeah. I mean, that's like the ultimate gift for any Bronco owner. Like, you know, get a year's subscription to Bronco Driver. It's such a good magazine. Um the the Bronco Driver folks do such a good job with that. Um, magazine. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, BroncoDriver.com, I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. and my collection's right over there, and yeah. people are always trying to swipe a copy. And it's like, no, that's my only one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't have that one. Yeah, I have a couple of duplicates, like where, when the one I was in and stuff like that that I really like that I've, I've kept duplicates of. Um, but tickets to a Bronco event, especially Bronco Super Celebration, um, like Bronco Super Celebration in Tennessee is happening in April. Now's a great time to, to get your tickets um, and to, you know, get a jump start on planning that stuff. And even one thing my wife did for me on Father's Day one year was she got me a, a fuel gift card. Because if we're driving our Broncos to an event, oh, like yeah. if I'm driving to Knoxville, that's <laughs> a lot in gas and I'm driving my Bronco. So it's like, so she got me a gas gift card. I'm like, that's a great, that's a great idea as well. Um, and man, yeah, like drop a little hint on what well, events you well, want to go to. at that event, like the one in Townsend, uh, I've been to that one and yeah. uh, there's uh, mountain cabins yeah, and little motor hotels yes. and there's just there's so many places to stay there and the, the cabins, the views are just incredible because oh. you're in the mountains. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of fun. Even the drive there is beautiful. Yeah. It's right outside of uh, Gatlinburg. It's about 30 minutes outside Gatlinburg. So you have, you know, Gatlinburg is kind of the, um, I don't know, Las Vegas of the South, I guess people call it. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's an attraction that people come to and um, definitely nothing like Las Vegas. But uh, so there's a lot of these cabins around. There's a lot of just cool places to stay around there. So definitely some good options around there. And my last one, shameless, shameless plug for John Melton for Nashville Early Bronco. Some uh, Bronco swag. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this beautiful hoodie that I'm wearing in this frigid cold temperature around the holidays, 
little Nashville Bronco hoodie here. And it's very, it's actually super warm. And I, this is what I wear around the house all day. <laughs> um, and then, but I have these hoodies. I have the original Nash hoodie with the, the Bronco logo on it. Um, and then shirts and stuff like that. Nashville early Bronco dot com uh for some good bronco swag you have anything else you want to add to the uh bronco list no i got my tennis shoes on there <laughs> i'm good i should sell those on my website <laughs> <You should. laughs> that'd be, that'd be amazing. I, i'm pretty sure it, i know it's ford endorsed i just don't know where you can get them yeah the the ford merchandise website is actually pretty good they, they have some good stuff on there too well, cool. Well, uh, no Bronco history today. We wrapped up the first generation last week, but be on the lookout because the next couple episodes are going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be talking about generation two through generation six and uh, might even throw the bass chaser in there with some <laughs> Bronco two information. Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about events for this year. Speaking of events, um, is, and, uh, is that going to be our first episode? Our first event? episode is going to so be... So you can plan your whole year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can figure out what events you're going to go to, where you're going to see John and Donnie, because we'll be at some events podcasting live, and uh, you'll get to touch Josh's mustache <laughs> at these events. So you definitely want to come, because that is a treat, people. If you can reach it, he's like really tall. <laughs> so. Oh, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. That wraps up season one of the Broncast. Season two, we'll take a break uh, the uh, next week and be back the following week, first Monday in January for season two.